guys. It's Michelle Pippin, and I am so excited to be with you all. I have been chosen to be part of the next book launch from best-selling author Mike Michalowicz, and I realized that I got something in the mail for him yesterday, which was in my office, and I had no idea that it was here. And so I just wanted to um, unbox this to see, so we can see together what came in the mail and what Mike has in store for us um, for his next book launch. And his book is called Fix This Next. He has written a bunch of books. He's actually a fellow Virginia Tech Hokie like me. I absolutely love his books. They're very practical and irrelevant, irre which is how I write. And I'm very excited to see what they have in store for us. If you are planning on writing a book, um, this book launch process has been pretty phenomenal. And so, uh, anyway, here's how it happened. They asked me, um, I was on Mike Michalowicz's um, podcast, Profit First. Um, actually, that's not, that was his last book name. His podcast is called Something Entrepreneurial. I'll, have to, I'll tag it in the comments. But um, they asked me if I'd be interested in being a part of his book launch. And I was like, absolutely, right? I am a huge fan of his books and him in general. Oh my Lord. So here is what just came in the mail. For me, I'm gonna, um, super fun, <laughs> a hard hat, because the book is called Fix This Next. His name is Mike McCallowicz. He wrote um, Profit First, The Pumpkin Plan, The Toilet Paper Entrepreneur. I actually interviewed him about his publishing process years and years ago, and it was an amazing, amazing interview. And he actually really told um, a story about the you know, differences and uh, between self-publishing and publishing with like a massive, massive um, publisher. So yeah, well, I am a contractor's daughter. So obviously the hard hat is a natural fit. Let me see what else is in here. Jeez, I don't know what this is. I'm embarrassed to put this on yet. Oh shoot, I think this is supposed to go in the hat. Oh well, all right. So we have this, which has just came in the book and I have this amazing note. Let me see. <laughs> Michelle, you rock. Because Mike knows I rock, right? He says, Michelle, you rock. Seriously, I appreciate you. I'm humbled by your support. And then he goes on to talk about the hard hat. And he said, we have a really great idea to gain exposure for the book and for you. Would you be willing to take a picture with this hat and text it to blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I did more than text it or take a picture. So I am super excited to um, be part of this. And I will keep you guys posted, not only on the book and what he's doing there, but also um, sort of how cool um, you know his book launch process is. Again, he's a best-selling author, not just like the standards, right? Like New York Times best-selling author, but he also makes quite a deal of money from the sale of his books. Now, some people would definitely assume that those two things go hand in hand. And I can tell you from ghostwriting New York Times bestselling books, which I have done, I can tell you from working with a lot of New York Times bestselling authors, I can tell you, um, you know, just from my experience of working with self-published authors, being a best-selling author does not always equate into making a lot of money from your books. I was really shocked to learn this and I had suspicions. Mike was the first person who really detailed this for our group way back when, I don't know, maybe 2011, 2012 when I did that interview. And so when we watch his book launch process, you're gonna learn a lot. And that's another reason, not just because I'm a big fan of Mike and not just because I love all of his books, but I really, um, was excited to uh, get a, a peek behind the scenes of this genius book launcher. And so um, anyway, I'm really excited about that. So everybody was um, you know, wondering what would come in this, this box and I'm just super pumped. So count me in, Mike, 
and I will um, keep you guys posted on how things go. Appreciate you guys. Hope you have an amazing Sunday. And we have a big week planned for Women Who Wow. We are talking about the art of making money as well as the um, art of building and creating and sustaining momentum in your business. Momentum counts. It counts way more than we typically give it credit for. And so all week, the Women Who Wow members are going to be focused on this, the art of money making and momentum. And it's going to be fun. It's going to be eye-opening. And it's going to move our businesses forward in pretty massive ways. So really appreciate it, um, you guys being with me. appreciate you guys watching the replay. And I look forward to seeing you guys on the other side of Women Who Wow. If you're not already a member, definitely message me because you want to be a member. And if you are um, have any questions about your business, about success about sales, message me in.me backslash women who wow. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.